Hey guys, so this is my Hyundai Tucson car tour and unfortunately I didn't film a proper intro. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start from the front to the back. So first we have the driver's side and this is the door, it looks normal. We have a speaker right here, a pocket, cup holder there, pocket there, all the controls. Let's get to it. Let's close the door for a private tour. Here we have the lock, and you can actually, the reason why I had thought about just now is because there's a lock right here. But we have this lock option, and the passenger side actually has the same one. So if you go that way, you can lock all the doors and open all the doors. Here we have the left and right front mirrors. So it's like a little game pad, and you can adjust it. Here we have all the windows lock and unlock button. All the doors lock and unlock button. We have the passenger side window, the driver's side window, passenger back, driver's back. And then some WD-40. My dad took it somewhere. And then we have some water we need to throw out and a phone book. Jumping to the front, we have an air vent. And you can press this button and slide it open or close. We have T TCS, not sure what it is, so if you know what it is, comment down below. And then we have four wheel drive, because it's a four wheel drive car. And then we have a dashboard lighting situation here, so you can adjust it. Next, we have what people don't really know how to use, or well, some people don't know how to use, and that is the indicator and Yay! no one uses indicators anymore i'm supposed to guess where you're going yeah give it a thumbs up that's how you feel like people don't use indicators as much as they should but we have to adjust the lights and left this is right and this is left so let me turn the car i want to show you the middle stuff. So again, right, left. So this is the dashboard. Yes, I do need gas, but like that's like a tomorrow problem. So this is how the car is hot or cold, how much gas you have. That will stay on until the car gets turned on. In Bermuda, we use the little numbers, kilometers per hour. In America, we use the big numbers. So tourists, if you come, tourists, if you come here, look for the little numbers. As an FYI, do not look at the big numbers. I don't know what that what that is and that's pretty much it this is the steering wheel and this button right here if you pull it, it can adjust the steering wheel we also have a pocket right we have a pocket right there and that's open up the front of the car like that area okay and both sides have these visors and it comes with a mirror and you can actually open and that's the light right there close it we have also it's like 818 so the lighting's not as good but i wanted to get a video out so i'm filming it today we have light on and then light off for the passenger side we have a pocket here with your sunglasses and just a little paper right here for the rosary because I'm Portuguese. And then we have the rear view mirror, just some things. If you're European, Portuguese, or Latino, then you probably have one of these in your car. The beautiful soundboard, as I call it, because that's basically what it does. We have the air vents for the windshield. We have your fog lights. 
we have your emergency button. Then we have the clock. We have reset, minute, hour, a little pocket we hear. We don't know what to do, so we just put a little Jesus thing in. Close this, and you get the passenger driver side to be a lot stronger. Turn back on. Here we have the sound machine. Yeah, it's a 2003 model, so we don't have an aux player. We do still use CDs, but mainly we have a Bluetooth speaker. And I'll just connect that to my phone and use that. But we have volume on and off. I mean, radio on and off. And then it's also the volume. And I turn that off so we get copyrighted. And then we have Tune Seek. And actually, a trick that we recently found out, like having this car for 12 years, and like we just found out a few years ago, that instead of looking for 89.1 every time, you can actually set six stations as your favorite. So, we're gonna press that one, and we're gonna hold it down until you hear that beep. Okay, that's a bad example. Three. Set it back to 89.1. Press and hold. Voila. Then we have your mode. This will tell you your bass, treble, fat, and balance. We have FM, AM, CD, scan. Whoever's driving gets to put their lip gloss in. And then we have a Rubis tag, which is a reward card. AC system control. So we have temperature higher lower it is in celsius but you know we're european and they pretty much use celsius like in canada so like we're cool with it and then we have auto mode we'll choose for your face or face and feet face and windows or feet and windows and then you have ac central ac for the windows and then automatic and then we have fan speeds and outside is 27 degrees Celsius. Then here we have this little thing that I got from the Dollar Tree actually. And you just plug it into your lighter station and it has two plugs. Charge your phone. Then we have a pocket here that we don't really use. We have a pocket here. We have the Prindle from London Tipton and Zach and Cody. If you remember that, give this video a thumbs up. And then it is four wheel drive, so we have that option. Then we have two cup holders and those four things, which we don't really know what it is. But we usually put like change in it. Makes it easier at the gas stations. And then we have this pocket right here, which we can adjust it. Up, down. One has a highlighter and a pencil. That Well, the pencil is usually in there. And then we have a deeper pocket. That is the passenger side. I have a seat cover on mine because I'm fancy. And because it's hot in the summertime and my butt was getting burnt every time. And my legs, like, it's Bermuda. The seats get hot people, you know what I'm talking about. That's the passenger door, identical to the driver's door. It has a cup holder pocket, another pocket, the automatic window opener, and then door lock, the vent. And then same thing, we have the mirror, close it, and then we have this visor like that. And then we have the glove compartment, which you just keep extra napkins and diapers or pull-ups for little kids to take care of. And then we just have glasses and shades in that plastic bag. So yeah, now we're gonna jump into the back seat. And actually, before we jump into the back seat, the driver's seat does have these two gear wheels, and they actually adjust this part. Focus. This one actually adjusts the height of your leg area. So if you want your legs to be up more, it goes up, down, down. And then this one is to bring your back up more. That is to put the seat up or down. And then this is to adjust the back support. 
So that equals so that equals no back support, medium or full back support. Seat belts do adjust. You can hold it here if they go all the way down or all the way up. And now let's go into the back seat. So this is the overview of the back. Like I said, good thing about this car is that it's easy to clean. It's not just makes it dirty every single time you get in and out of the car. But it has more cup holders than anything, which is pretty good. So pretty much all doors look alike, except for the driver's ones, the pocket, pocket. Of that all the headrests in the car adjust by just you can pull it up and then you press this button to push it back down the back of the driver and passenger seat actually have these which is really easy to clean if you have children or a nanny or a babysitter or, or if you deal with kids okay you know that they're gonna put their feet up and just clean this off both sides have this net right here you put stuff in it. I am a nanny, so I keep a car seat in here at all times. And then the base, on days that I am working and we're going to use the car, then I'll put the base in. But for now, we keep it down like that. Just so that we have more room, because the base does take up a lot of space. We recycle our paper bags by using it once for the groceries or whatever. And then two, we use it for trash. Then we have this pocket here, another cup holder, and you can actually push that in like that. So it makes three seats. There's a seat belt, a seat belt, a seat belt that's tucked away in for now. These seats, if you press this up, they do come down flat. And actually the passenger seat does go flat too, so you can actually use it as a table. Then we have these bag holders and cargo nets, tires, and that is the trunk area. Here we have a clothes hook. Sorry. We have like a clothes hook thing. And then here you guys just lift it off with one hand. As I said, the head rests all adjust. <laughs> so in this middle console you have another volt thing so you can charge your phone back here and then it has a pocket here and then really quick there's more lights right there coming into the trunk now That's what the trunk looks like. You can actually put all of those forward flat, like I just showed you. And that's why we actually keep the car seat on this side because that is separate from there. So it's just smarter to make it both of them go down and have more room. Okay, the trunk is a decent space. You could easily chill out in the back here. We have this pocket right here. I said the bag holders right there. This is a sun visor, a pillow, a wheel pump to fill our tires, and then a kite that we never used. It does have a light there and a light here. And it has a another volt thing there. It is a 12 volt or 120 watts. This thing right here is usually have a thing that ties up in the back of there actually fold it this way so that way no one sees what's in your trunk and yeah that's about it so give you just a full overview that's how big it is like i said we clean our car every week but living with sand and rocks and then we have this huge tree and even though that kind of house is like those things the birds still go to the bathroom a lot actually one of the big problems to me and my neighbor's car is it's always going to get dirty but yeah that is about it the other cool thing about this car 
is you actually open up this back part right here. So if you're at a beach or if you're carrying a machine or anything and it's sticking up in the back, you don't have to leave the trunk open, you just use this part. So that is it for today's video. I also have my My Family stickers, they were really popular a few years ago. My mom, my dad, me, my cats. And then the National Society of High School Scholars sticker for the Hyundai Tucson. And that's pretty much all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and bye!